Okay, let's talk about the European Union. It's one of the great issues of the moment because we will vote on June the 23rd as to whether to stay in or to go out. This is relevant to the Police and Crime Commissioner's elections? Yes, it is relevant because our decision as a nation will be based in part on two great factors, two great fear factors. One is the issue of migration, the other is the issue of international terrorism. Our chief constable in the southwest is the lead chief constable nationally on the migration issue, curiously. Uh, terrorism, international terrorism, um, well I, I work for the Next Century Foundation and it's a field in which I, I have some knowledge I suppose, sadly. Um, but um, so, so it does bother me that these two big fear factors are going to be the drivers in the EU vote on June the 23rd. Um, in the absence of all of this, if we were living in a perfect world, um, you know what? I, I'll surprise you perhaps, but I, I might vote to leave the European Union. I, I, uh, I am a great environmentalist. It's a big issue for me. And I'm profoundly bothered by the common fisheries policy, which has not yet been sufficiently reformed. I'd like to see no take zones extended over all the breeding grounds, properly extended, right down to, uh, to no take of, of sand and gravel, which is keep disrupting the, 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 the breed fish breeding grounds when, when people go dredging, as well as the, the, the factory fishing that goes on. Um, but, uh, and, and I think much of the common fisheries policy is an obscenity. Uh, but, um, so I think in, if you're talking from an environmental standpoint, if you're talking about the oceans around, the seas around Britain's coast, then, then the European Union has been a catastrophe. If we are to base our decision on this great international issue, and I am at heart an internationalist, on fear, then that pushes me the other way. I think to myself, uh, we should stay in. Um, I mean, it's almost like being blackmailed, isn't it? When you get terrorism um, striking fear into the hearts of your population, so much so that, that they would vote otherwise than they might be inclined to do in peaceful times. It's distressing to see the events in Belgium, the events previously in Paris. It's distressing to see the events in the Middle East, uh, which is a kind of home for me as well because I spend, have spent much of my time in countries like Libya and Syria and Palestine. It's distressing to realize that many of the events, many of the, much of the instability in the Middle East has been created by us. We are the lead nation, you know, in, in regard, for instance, to the Libyan, um, the Libyan ins insurgency, our support of, our opposition to Gaddafi and our, our support for the rebels. Rebels are men with a very genuine and good cause, but, and, and perhaps what we did was pretty noble initially, but, but then we failed to follow through. Um, and as so often that poor nation was left to, to fend for itself with other forces at work that, that strove to disrupt that, that fragile peace that began well. And then you had a failed state and, and we just turned our backs and, and we now have two major, major channels for migration to Europe, one across the Med from Libya, um, where many, many displaced Africans are coming, and the other, of course, uh, across from, from Turkey through to Greece. And we are based, basing our decision on fear, um, fear of migrants, fear of terrorism. It bothers me that this is the case. Uh, we have a role as whoever is elected as Police and Crime Commissioner has a role to protect the Southwest from international terrorism, to see that the forces, the rapid response forces that we need are there because, believe you me, it's one thing um, 
terrorism striking in London, where there, uh, there, there, are, there, are, there is the capability to deal with it in the southwest, we need the, to be able to, to, to respond rapidly. And we, we have to see very carefully and be very vigilant to see that, that we are in a position to do so. Um, and that will be, by the way, a priority in my policing plan, that, that, that the whole issue of international terrorism is dealt with. But so where do we go from here? What is my view on the European Union election? Does it even matter what my view is? Well, you, can, you will have judged by now that I am torn. Um, and on the day, I'm not sure at this point as to which way I will vote. But, but believe you me, I think we must be vigilant in our hearts to see that our vote on the European Union issue is not driven in any way by fear. We're a proud people and we have our human dignity and we have respect for all. And our society is a free society and a fair society and a just society. And we must keep it so. And that means respecting and loving our brothers and sisters and all mankind. And it is necessary that you, whomever you elect, have an expectation that our police force give us freedom from fear. It's what they're there for in the first place. It's their duty. And we'll sure do it if you give us the chance. I will certainly stand by that. Bless you and thank you. And I do hope you vote on May 5th, because we need every vote. Bless you. Thank you.